Welcome to the first tutorial of estimation. In this tutorial, we will learn about the basics, about the drawings, and how to upload drawings on PlanSwift. When we will open the PlanSwift, you can see here on upper left of the PlanSwift new tab. When we click on the new a new window is open. You can see here the job number and description. In job number we will enter the job number that is being followed in your company and in description we will enter the project name. Now you can see here I am entering the project number in description and then I entered the project name. When we move in the middle of that tab you can see here the local new job location. In new job location local is automatically selected we will discuss in next. Next is the measurement type. Here you can see there are two commands English and metric. We will select here the English that is used in US construction project. Then we will click on the next button. You can see there are many PDF files. Here I will select our desired project PDF files. We will open the folder where we will have placed our PDF files and then we will select this project drawing. You can see here a lot of PDF files. I will select the project file that is needed to be estimated. When I click on the next button you can see here the TIF, TIF files number. Here you can increase that number to make more visible and darker your drawings in PlanSwift. When you click on the next button and finish it, the drawings are being uploaded. This drawing has multiple pages, so it will take time. When the all the pages are uploaded on Pansuit, you can see its final display like that. It's here. You can see the first display of your project files. On the left side you can see here all these are project pages and you have to rename all these pages to make them visible so that you can easily go to your desired drawing. These drawings are when you click on the page on the upper left side of the plan suite and batch rename pages a small window will open you will enter here every page name one by one on the first page that is the cover page on the next page you can see in the bottom right of the page there is a sheet number you can enter this sheet number to rename all the pages one by one 
here you will go you can rename all these pages so that you can easily see that what are the drawings like journal civil structural architectural you can easily find them whenever you like so this is the display of the pages when we click on the cover page here you can see on the upper side the project name and project address this is the area code from this area code you can find the project location here you can see on the cover page the building map and site location when we see in the middle there are drawing numbers on first there are general drawings that includes the cover sheet scope of work notes general specifications related to construction and that are needed to be an estimation these general drawings will help you to see the notes next are the survey drawings the survey drawings are all about the existing location or information about the project it will provide you necessary information about the site either it is plain or up and down cut and fill details or either the building is in earthquake zone and it covers all the necessary information about that next are the civil drawings the civil drawings will cover building outer side utilities civil line connections related to government water lines and buildings information about the civil surveys so the civil drawings will describe information about all civil related items next are the structural drawing these drawings will include information about building steel work load bearing items main structure foundation plan concrete floors or steel related items about framing etc next you can see here the architectural drawings these drawing include information about the site plan demolished site plan site plan details ground level plan second floor third floor fourth floor the architectural drawings include information about the existing site about the building information either it is to be demolished rebuild alteration new building after demolition and specification about the doors and windows building sections exterior elevations roofs walls etc next are mechanical drawings mechanical drawings include information about the hvac system 
heat and air conditioning system, centralized system, all about the building. Next are plumbing. Plumbing drawings include pipe work, gas connections, sanitary connections, and all information about. Next are electrical. The electrical drawings include uh, switches, wiring, receptacles, and all necessary information about the electrical work of the project. So these are all the drawings that we will have to go through throughout the project. On the next drawing, you can see here the scope of work. The scope of work describes the actual work that has to be performed according to the given plans. In this project, this scope of work is that this project consists of new construction of a three-story office building with two future lease spaces approximate that area. Future lease space build out is to be permitted separately. So the only thing we have to do is a new construction of a three-story building with two future lease spaces. The scope of work is the actual thing that is to be performed in the project. Next you can see here the abbreviations. These abbreviations will be used throughout the project. We cannot write all that names due to space issues so the abbreviations are used. Next you can see here the drawing legends and symbols. Here are the material legends, drawing symbols. These legends are used for different material items. Here you can see it will use this legend for brick, this for CMU, concrete, concrete block, cut stone, earth, etc. Next are drawing symbol legend. These symbol legends will be used for necessary detail and information about the project. Here you can see this is the symbol for key nodes. Throughout the project you will see the key nodes that are necessary to be followed during estimation. This symbol is used for door, this for window symbol, for every type of window it he will use that symbol next are section detail cut here you can see on the upper side the section number or detail number on the below you can see the sheet number on that sheet you will see that detail number for the details that are given you have to follow. Next is the exterior elevation symbol. On the top that in, indicate the dry elevation designation and on the below is the sheet number. On that sheet number you will have to see this elevation designation number for details. Next is the interior elevation key symbol. In this project, he will use this symbol for interior elevation. On the upper side in the circle, you can see the sheet number and below is the detail number. On that page, you will see this detail number for the given details that will be take off. Next you can see here the symbol about the room and room finish. On the upper side you can see the room number in the middle 
on the upper side the room name in the middle the room number and the below floor finish in this symbol it will be describe the details about the room and floor next is the symbol used for walls in this project it will use this symbol for wall in mostly us projects this symbol is used for drywall so we will take off next is the elevation finish floor or top of concrete elevation this is this symbol is used for finish floor elevation if it is in minus or positive you have to take it to the ground level according to the scope of work so this symbol will be used for finish elevation on the upper left side of the page you can see here the details that will have to be followed throughout estimation on the next page you can see here the necessary details that have to be followed during estimation and takeoffs these information is necessary for every step of the project construction it will include details about the projects and execution on the next drawing you can see here specification about the stucco system here you can see the details about the stucco about the general quality of the stucco about the products material its nature information about the mixes mechanical mixing or hand mixing next its execution that how it will be executed throughout the project and next is the application of the stucco that how it will be applied either in scratch coat brown coat leveling coat finish coat information about everything about its execution next is the curing in curing it will be information about the moisture of the building that how it will be kept moisturized and next is the cleaning after the construction project next you can see here the information about the storefront system stone veneer and floor sealer this is the all about information about the stucco next you can see here the storefront glazing glazing include all the information about the glass work and how it is to be used in takeoffs about the product quality its material execution and installation so this is the these are the basics of the estimation that what we are going to perform